Hello, I'm Chris Winnell from Cycle Solutions here with our latest installment on how to install a jet screen breather system. Our breather system is very straightforward to install. I'm going to go right to it. First thing you need to know is that every threaded portion, first of all, needs to be cleaned with alcohol or a Loctite primer. Let it dry. And then we're going to use Loctite on every single threaded portion, that being the standoffs, the hollow banjo bolts, and any of the other accessory pieces that go with. In the kit, you'll find that there's a gasket. Apply the gasket to the back of the breather system. Take your standoff, your filter standoff bolt, and go ahead, slide it to the top right side. Everything we're going to do is going to be finger tight. That way there's no question about threading or damage. Line holds up on the throttle body. And incidentally, this is a horsepower ink throttle body on this bike. Pretty interesting article on the website, you might, might be interested in reading. Uh, the stock throttle body, the horsepower ring throttle body, either one of them will bolt to our jet screen breather system. Okay, you've got a sleeve. This one's chrome. On one side of the sleeve, there's going to be an O-ring. On the other side, it's smooth. The smooth side is going to go to the back side of the jet screen breather. There'll be an O-ring here as well. So we're going to put an O-ring against the head and then the smooth portion to the O-ring on the back of the breather. Take your hollow banjo bolts, again, finger tight. The other one, sleeve, slide it behind. Get it threaded, just kind of wiggle it, get it lined up. It's best to let this stuff sit overnight on a cold engine so the lock tight locks tight. I like small tools, small wrenches. You do not want to get carried away with a, with a billet uh, uh, piece of hardware. They're fragile, they can break easy. So when we install them here at Cycle Solutions, we use small tools, not great big ones, okay? Pretty easy to break. People ask, what's torque setting? There really isn't a torque setting. It's different than the factory stuff. We just go snug and maybe a bump, a little bit. Nothing excessive. What you're going to find is this breather fits very easy. If you have an issue with it fitting, then there's an issue with the motorcycle. Snug, and a little bit. The hair, the hair, the hair. Good to go. Take our filter. There's two styles of filters. You're going to have holes in two different locations to fit different model years. This would be for an 08 and newer FLH. You see the holes that mount the throttle body are symmetrical like that. These are offset. Spin your filter on, line her up until it all sets exactly the way it's supposed to, right there. Now I'm running this particular breather naked. Uh, we offer it with a round cap that would fit on the end of the filter for this one. And then we have the billet naked. Or you can just go ahead and use the stock cover on the standard jet screen. Three different levels. There's your basic, your basic with a cap, and then the billet naked system. Again, I've got Loctite on all the threads here. Small tools, and we don't break anything. Let me tell you what, you can. And that sucks when you have to ex extrude a hardened uh, piece of stainless steel out of an aluminum throttle body. Don't get crazy with it, folks. You don't have to be crazy. The Loctite will do its job. Okay. If I was just running the cap, we put a center screw in there. Looks great. However, I prefer to use our billet naked system. This cap, it's machined, sits right on the rubber. Okay. And then you have teeth, and they're available in chrome and black. So what you're going to do is you're going to line these up visually. Go ahead and. Set the screw in, bring the tooth to it. Snug fit. There we go. And I'm threading this in with my, real lightly. I don't want to cross thread it. Pretty fine thread stuff on these. Again, there's Loctite. Scoot around a couple of holes. Again, 
Pull it in. Not getting crazy with it. It's still loose. That allows the plate to move around as you're installing what we call teeth. Do this one here by feel. Another one. I had all these bolts pre uh, pre treated, and I also had the lock tight on prior to making this video. Save time. Nice little dot of Loctite on the threaded portion on the very tip will suffice. Remember, if you have a Harley, Loctite is your friend. Especially on a bagger. Until they're, they're snug. Since there's uh, rubber on both sides of this filter, it does a great job of isolating the vibration. Like I said, just a little bit of Loctite keeps it from falling, coming loose, falling off. Just make sure they all feel equal. And like any good chromaholic, one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the time to get my handprints off the chrome. And when you're working on a bike, another good rule of thumb, don't leave chrome on, or fingerprints on the exhaust. Anytime you leave a fingerprint on the chrome, it gets hot. It's there for good. No amount of rubbing and buffing can get it off. So there you go. That's the Jet Screen Complete Breather System. It's naked with teeth. I'm running a purple filter to match the purple pinstripes in the front of the bike. We have them in all sorts of colors. Here's a red backing plate, chrome, black, blue. The filters are available in all the colors. You can see them on the website. We've got the Screaming Eagle orange, yellow, green, purple, black, blue, red. Uh, anyway, if you have any more questions about how to do it, our phone number is 765-768-6000. Visit us at, uh, at uh, cyclesolutionsonline.com. Thanks.